The way that we're going to graph lines in this lesson is by using what's called standard form. The standard form of a linear equation is ax plus by equals c, and a and b are numbers. So in letter A, example 1, that's what standard form would look like, where all the variables are on one side and the number is by itself. Instead of the Y being by itself, the number is by itself. So there are two ways to do it. One is to get the Y by itself, like we did back in pre-4, where we isolated the Y. And when you isolate the Y, then you have it in slope-intercept form, and you can use those in the things that we learned about in the last lesson to graph it. Another technique that I want to teach you about in this lesson is where we plug in uh, zeros for the x and y intercepts and we graph the line for that. So let's see what that technique is all about. Remember that when you do the x-intercept, it looks like this. It has a number and a zero in the y value. When you have the y-intercept, it has a zero in the x value. So let's use that information to help us calculate. So when we plug in zero, it doesn't matter which one you plug in first, you just have to be careful when you calculate. So I'll plug in zero for x, I get negative two times zero plus three y equals negative six. Now what's cool about this technique is this whole piece cancels out because anything times zero is zero. So I just get three y equals negative six and so then my y value is negative 2. So the, listen carefully, y-intercept is negative 2. Now let's do it with a different 0, a 0 in the x, I'm sorry, a 0 in the y spot. So I get negative 2x plus 3 times 0 equals negative 6. And again, the cool thing about plugging in these zeros is that this whole piece cancels out because anything times zero is zero. So you just get negative two x equals negative six. When you divide by negative two, you get x equals three. So listen carefully, the x-intercept is three. So now all I really need are two points and connect them and I can make the line. So let's go over to the side and make an xy coordinate grid. And now we can plug in I'm sorry, not plug in, we already plugged in. We can plot the y-intercept at 0, negative 2, and the x-intercept at 3, 0, and that's what the line's going to look like. Sometimes this technique is easier because you don't have to deal with the fractions of the slope. Or sometimes you get a weird intercept. All right, let's check out example two. It's very similar, so let's do it again. If you want to pause and try this on your own, you're more than welcome to. Remember that the x-intercept has a zero in the y spot, and the y-intercept has a zero in the x spot. So let's calculate. x plus three times zero equals negative three. Again, it doesn't matter which zero you plug in first, it just matters that you put it for the right intercept. So this whole piece cancels out, and cool, I just said x equals negative three. So the x-intercept is negative three. Now let's do it for the y. So when I plug in zero for x, I get, I'm sorry, I'm plugging in 0 for x. When I plug in 0 for x, this piece cancels out, and I just have 3y equals negative 3. And so y equals negative 1. So the y-intercept is negative 1. So now I can calculate. I'm sorry, I keep using the word calculate. Now I can plot. And I'm going to plot negative 3, 0. And I'm going to plot 0, negative 1. That's all I need. And now I can make the line and write the equation. And again, this is easier because I don't have to get things away from the y, and I don't have to deal with the fractions of the slope. Or sometimes there's a fractional intercept. Example 3. 
You have $6 to spend on apples and bananas. Graph the equation 1.5x plus 0.6y equals 6, where x is the number of pounds of apples and y is the number of pounds of bananas. So even though there are decimals, the technique is exactly the same. So all you need maybe this time is a calculator. So grab your calculator if you need it and pause the video and I want you to try to graph the equation on your own. If you need help with the intercepts, you can wait for that with me, but I think you should be able to f use the technique for part A. All right, so if you have anything wrong, I want you to fix it. Don't leave wrong work on your paper. So if you have one of the intercepts wrong, fix it. If your work is wrong, fix it. If you didn't put yourself in quadrant one. If you put yourself in all four quadrants, fix it. If you extended your line into the negatives, fix it. If you didn't label your line, fix it. Do you understand what I want you to do? Fix it. Now the last thing that we have to do is to do part B, which is interpret the intercepts. So now since I have the intercepts right here, I can just write a sentence about them. So the first sentence is going to say 0, 10 means. So remember that the 0 stands for the x value, and x stood for, hold on, I have to scroll up and look. x stands for apples, and y stands for bananas. So 0 apples means you don't buy any apples, and 10 bananas means 10 bananas. So 0, 10 means if you don't buy any apples, you can buy 10 bananas. And then the other intercept is very similar, only with the label switched around. So 0, 4 means, I'm sorry, 4, 0. means if you buy four apples, you can't buy any bananas. Well, those are some pretty expensive apples. Um, all right, if you have any questions other than why these apples are so expensive, uh, write them down, and uh, I'll see you when you come to class.